Hey guys, Chris Meets with Anywhere POD. Today we're going to take a look at Shine On and how you can build products with our integration. So to get started, if you haven't done so yet, you want to make sure that your uh, Etsy shop is connected to Anywhere POD and also make sure that you have Shine On integrated. If you haven't completed that yet, I'll leave a link in the description down below on how you can set up your Shine On integration. So to get started, we're just going to come in here and click on View Products under Shine On. And this is going to give us a list of all of the available Shine On products. We have the majority of their product catalog in here, but if there's anything that's missing um, that you would like to be able to offer, let us know and we'll see if we can get access to it for you. So today we're going to go over how to build a journal. So we're just going to click on the journal here and then we just need to click on Start Designing. And then in here we're going to go to Upload Artwork. Now the design area here is already set to the correct dimensions uh, that's required by Shine On for this product. So you can add any other additional elements that you want to this, additional pieces of clip art, you can do personalization, um, anything like that you can do right inside of here. Uh, but in this case, we don't need to make any more changes. So we're just going to center this design and click on Create Product. And now it's going to go through and generate the artwork for us. And it's also going to generate a mock-up for us from Shine On. Once that's complete, if we want to add any other additional mock-ups from Shine On, we can click on the Add Images button here. And this is going to give us a list of all of the available mock-ups from Shine On. So if we select a few here, and if we want to generate the same mockups every time that we build one of these products, we can just check this box here at the top and it'll generate the same set of mockups for you automatically every time you create a new product of that type. So now that we have our mockups all created, um, you can make any other, any other adjustments here that you'd like to, uh, such as your title, your description, your tags. We have a nice Etsy analyzer tool here that helps with researching tags. I'll leave a link in the description down below on how to use that, uh, as well as our video generator. We'll give you a slideshow style video for any of your mockup files. Obviously, you can change any of your pricing uh, or you can add additional variants if you have multiple variants of the same artwork or additional products that you want to add to this listing. Um, you can use that option here. I'll leave links in the description down below that covers those features in more detail. After you're done with that, all you need to do is click on create new listing here at the top. And this is going to go ahead and create a new listing in Etsy for you in your draft folder. Uh, to view that listing, you can just click on the green drop down arrow here and click view on Etsy. And you can see it'll pull up this product inside of Etsy with all of our mockups and titles and tags and descriptions and everything already set up on it. If you have multiple products of the same type that you're creating back to back, uh, you can use our copy listing feature here. Um, what this will do is duplicate this product that you just created um, and allow you to come in and just upload the new artwork for the new product that you're wanting to create and then uh, you would just need to change your title for it as well. So it's a little bit of a faster way if you're adding multiple products back to back that you're able to do that. As always, if you guys have any questions or need additional assistance with anything, always feel free to reach out to us. You can use the contact us link down here at the bottom of every page or send us an email to support at anywherepod.com.